The conflict in the Middle East is obviously having so many significant effects. We're going to talk about three of them in this video. And I also want to show you exactly where the U.S. Carrier Strike Force Group just was redirected to. And when you see the map, it'll blow your mind because it'll show you exactly what this move means and how significant it is. Besides all the personal horrible stories that are happening, which are much more significant than anything we're going to talk about here, and besides the potential for World War III, there are a few other less important things that are being significantly affected by everything going on in the Middle East right now. And as we do on this channel, we talk about those things such as oil and gold and inflation, macroeconomic events, so that you know the best ways to protect yourself, enrich your wealth, and help the people that you care about. The three things that are being significantly impacted right now because of the war in the Middle East is inflation, even more than you realize already how it's going to affect you. It's going to get worse, and I'll show you how and why. And we're also going to talk about gold, and we're going to talk about, obviously, the big one being oil prices. And, of course, on my team, we'll keep on working 60-hour work weeks to get you the best investor enlightenment that we possibly can. And all we ask in return is humbly for you to try to do the Peter Leeds trifecta, which is subscribe, like the video, and put a comment. At Peter Leeds, we're all about getting you profits quickly and easily. Please subscribe for more premium investor enlightenment. The U.S. Carrier Strike Force Group was just redirected to the Persian Gulf. And if you don't understand how significant that is, just take a look at it on the map. What is this leading up to? How do you think this is going to spiral out of control how do you think this is going to drive oil prices much higher the states is set up that they can easily start striking iran if they need to and if that happens everything's leading up to iran being behind the whole hamas attack and hezbollah as well if that happens any kind of strike against iran and any kind of increase in the conflict is going to significantly drive oil prices higher and add more power to everything we're talking about in this video in three days, I have doubled my money. Since subscribing in June, my small portfolio has increased by around 1,000%. Specifically with inflation, as oil prices go higher, that is just going to fuel inflation even more. It's like a tax on every aspect of the economy. The cost to get products to places, the cost to put them together, the cost to sell them, oils and everything. So increases in oil prices are felt in domestic inflation. But the wars are also going to add to the inflation and potentially drive oil prices higher. Just look at Biden asking for $106 billion to fund the three wars we got going on right now with Ukraine, South China Sea, and Israel. And when you create money, that's what is inflation. That is why the value of the dollar declines. It's because there's more money being created. And as you know, inflation's already bounced from the decline I told you about ahead of time to where it's going to go higher now, which I told you about ahead of time as well. And by the way, the U.S. government's going to be running out of money again on November 17th. Now with oil, that's the obvious one. When anything goes on in the Middle East, it affects oil prices significantly, which affects us here in America because we're paying more for things like gasoline. But it's about the uncertainty of the supplies being available, supply disruptions, there's a lot of oil production coming out of the Middle East, obviously. So anytime there's any kind of conflict, that's going to put a risk premium and a supply uncertainty premium on the price of oil. And gold, which I always tell you about, is nature's insurance. It tends to be a flight to safety when wars break out. A lot of money will flow into things like gold because it's more secure, stable, it'll preserve your purchasing power. There's a risk premium, an uncertainty premium, both built into gold right now, and of course a war premium. But it's not just gold, it's all precious metals. Think of them like a flock of birds, palladium, silver. Birds will take off and fly from one point to another point, but they don't all fly the same speed or the same path to get there, but they'll just pick up and go somewhere else. And that's the same thing that precious metals do as a group. Gold will increase faster when a war breaks out or when there's that kind of uncertainty. Silver will generally increase in value more on a percentage basis than gold will to get back to a more healthy and historically relevant silver to gold ratio, which would be closer to 40 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold, as opposed to where it is now at about 80, I believe. And the reason that it's important to look at macroeconomic events is that you have to be watching right now, what is Hezbollah going to do? 
And that's what Iran will tell them to do. That's what Hezbollah will do. And so is there going to be an expansion of the war even more than we've already seen? There's a lot of talk about when Israel actually goes into Gaza, that Hezbollah would step up their attacks. And there's already strikes back and forth from Lebanon and Israel. Israel's being very active right now and just to defend themselves against three different fronts. And it all comes down to if Iran gets into this war and gets affected at all, then you're going to want to be able to say that you invested in some oil-related stocks. And if you like that, we're ad-free and we don't have any sponsorships, please consider joining the Peter Leeds Army. PeterLeeds.com slash army. And remember to do the Peter Leeds trifecta. Like the video, put a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out a lot. We love you guys. We're working super hard for you.